Hey everyone, it's Mr. G, and in today's video, we're going to take a request from Noah, who asked, can you make a tutorial on how to make a sprite say something different every time after being triggered? Like, my idea is that there's a smile that encourages you to poke it, but the more, you, the more and more you poke it, the madder it gets, and that's portrayed through dialogue. But I can't figure out how to make it say different things. Once it's clicked, I can only get it to deliver the first line, or I can only get it to say every line at once. Okay, Noah, so here we go. Here's what I would do. I'm actually going to draw my own sprite because I think it would be cool to add costumes later on and make the sprite look angrier and angrier uh, later on. So I'm gonna delete this sprite and we're gonna start by painting a sprite. So because this is going to be a, um, a happy face, I guess, at the beginning, I'll just, uh, I'll just put two dots for an eye, for the eyes and a smiley face. And Noah said that it should, you sh the, the sprite should encourage you to poke it. So what I'll do is maybe when the green flag is clicked, I'm going to have the sprite say, go ahead, poke me. I dare you. Okay. Actually, now that I think about it, we're going to have a, we're, we might have a little bit of an issue because I think if I click on the sprite, let me test this out. I think if I click on the sprite, um, I have to click on the actual, on an actual color because if I click on the white space, even though it's going to be within the sprite, it might not click. So let me test that out. Let me do when this sprite is clicked, say, ow, not O, oh, but ow. Um, and so I'm clicking on it and nothing's happening. But if I click on the purple, then it says, ow. Okay. So we're going to have a problem here. We're going to have to make sure that we add more color to the, to the sprite here. Otherwise he is not going to respond to clicks unless someone clicks on him. So what I'll do is I'll just draw a circle around his head and I'm going to fill him in with a very light purple. And now that I lost the eyes and the, <laughs> and the mouth, I'm going to have to draw that again. Okay. So let me go with the darker purple and we'll draw that again. And this is perfect because now I can click anywhere on the sprite and he's going to respond ow for two seconds. So I can click anywhere and that's, that's exactly what I want. Okay. So let me get, let me get rid of this say block because the way that I want to, the way that I want him to kind of like, you know, figure out what to say is by counting how many times the user clicks on the sprite. So what I'm going to do is when I click on the sprite, I'm going to change a counter. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep track of how many times the user has clicked on the sprite. And if the user has clicked on him 10 times, then I'm going to have him say something. If the user has clicked on him 20 times, he'll say something else. So that sounds like a perfect job for a conditional. Um, and also a variable. So we need a variable to keep track of how many times the user has clicked on this actual uh, sprite. So over here in the variables palette, I click make a variable and this is going to be the counter. So I'm, I made a counter variable. So now we can use this in our code. Um, but we also have to make sure that every time we click on the sprite, the counter increases or it changes by one. So let me just make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. So every time I click on the sprite, you can see the counter is going up. You can hide that. You don't have to leave it uh, there if you don't want the user to be able to see it, if you want it to be more of a surprise. But I'm going to leave it there just for debugging purposes so I can see what the count is. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to check, um, I want to check to see if the count has reached 10, for example. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to grab a conditional from the control palette. So if the count or the counter, I should say, is greater than nine. So let's do that. So if the counter is greater than nine, he's going to say something else. So that means 10 and higher or 10 and 10 or greater. He's going to say something very specific. Um, so let's, let's try to figure out how, how we can start using this. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should use that an if else. Let me think about this for just one second. I guess I'm going to use a lot of if then else nested inside each other. 
So I can do something like this, where, and I might, I might not want to do if the counter is greater than nine, but my, maybe I'll want to do less than. Let me think about that for one second. Well, we get start coding and then we'll figure it out and fix it later on. So um, if the counter is less than nine, so we're gonna actually use this one. Oops, we grab counter. If the counter is less than nine, then the sprite is going to say ow. Maybe that's when we'll have him say ow. We'll say ow for two seconds or maybe one second, one second's fine. So right now, since we haven't attached it to any event, this is never going to run. So what I want to do is I want this to run whenever I click on the sprite. So when this sprite is clicked and there you see, I attached to the hat block. When this sprite is clicked, if the counter is less than nine and he's going to say ow, but if it's not less than nine, then we have to add more conditionals. But for now, if I click on him, you see the counter is, says three. So he's going to say ow. Okay, so as soon as I hit 10, he's not going to say anything. And you'll see that right here. If I just keep going at nine, he'll say ow. But if I click one more time, you see I'm clicking and he's not saying anything. And that's because this is not true. Counter is not less than nine. So we need to um, kind of like uh, make sure we capture um, anything else greater than nine. So what we'll do is maybe if we're less than 20, we'll say something else. So if the counter is less than 20, then he'll say, stop clicking me. Okay. And we should, he should start getting madder, but we'll work on that in a little bit when we use, when we mess around with the costumes. Um, so then, so there we go. So at, at 10 or below, actually then I should make this 19 because at 20 is when I want him to start saying, stop clicking me. Um, let me just make a couple more. So if we are not below 19, so if we're 20 or greater, then we're down here. So maybe let's go to 29, up to 29. And the, if the counter is less than 29, so as soon as we hit 30, he's going to say, all right, that's enough. That's enough. Stop it for real. Let me put a comma in there. <clears throat> okay, and then finally, if we are over 30, or sorry, if we're under 30, he's going to say stop it, that's enough for real. Um, but as soon as we get to 30 or greater, then maybe he'll just say I'm furious. I am furious. Okay. So this should work. Let's test it out by clicking on the sprite. He says, stop clicking me. And actually, let me lower this to one second, one second, one second. Same thing over here. So when I click on him, he says, stop clicking me. And we're at 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He said, stop clicking me. Or that's enough, stop clicking me. Okay, that's perfect. I think that's perfect. Let me just double check, make sure. So every time I click on him, he says, that's enough. Stop it for real. And we're at 29. So now at 30, he should say, I'm furious. There we go. Perfect. He said ex exactly what I wanted. So now when I start the project, if I click on the green flag, oh, we notice that the counter is still at 30. So that is a bug that we have to fix by making sure that when the sprite is clicked, or sorry, when the green flag is clicked, we reset our counter back to zero. That's actually the first thing I want to do. So when we click on the green flag, actually this counter is kind of blocking that text. Let me do it one more time. Go ahead, poke me, I dare you. And when every time we click on him, the counter goes up. He says, ow, for the first uh, nine times. And then where's our counter? At six, seven, eight, nine. And then on the 10th, he should say, stop clicking me. There we go. So that is stop clicking me all the way up until 19. Uh, okay, there's 19. And he says, stop clicking me uh, for the last time. Because now when I hit him, when I click him one more time, he's going to say, that's enough. Stop it for real. Okay, there we go. 
All right, so this works, but now he is not getting madder. And so what we need to do is kind of change, of, change his costume. So what we can make sure is that we are going to create more costumes. So we are gonna name this costume. This is the starting costume or starting face. Let me make, let me make a few duplicates. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on the on the costume and duplicate them. Let's duplicate them one time here first. So we'll say a little annoyed. Okay, and now what we can do is we can turn that frown upside down. So let's let's um, let's see if we can fix that actually. So we're gonna remove that frown or that that smile. And I want to make sure I fill this in, not with that color, but let me actually grab the same purple so I could fill it in with that purple. And actually, this is the one that I want to, I want to make copies of this because I'm going to, I'm going to make him upset and I'm going to change his face. So I'm going to duplicate that a couple of times. Okay. Let me go back to the first one, a little annoyed. So let me draw a kind of like a little bit of a little bit of an annoyed face right there. He's a little annoyed right there. Um, now in the next one, I'm going to write, I'm going to name this more annoyed. And so we're going to go with that. And then on the last one, I'll just name this furious. So when he's furious, he's like really upset. He's really mad at everyone. And let's go with red. He is going to be fuming and let's make sure that we cover that up. So he should be really, really mad. So let's give him angry eyes. Actually, I don't even know if that looks okay, but we'll go with that. So this is him when he's really upset. Oh, kind of got messed up. It's kind of tough to paint. Um, let me, I could undo that and just, just go with that. I could also make the brush a little bit thicker, I think. Um, yeah, right here. Let's go with 25. There we go. So it's a little bit easier to make it thicker. Okay. So now he's really mad. He's, he's even got a nose now. Okay. So starting face, a little annoyed, more annoyed, and then furious. So those are going to be the uh, costumes that I'm going to use. And what, I, what I'll do in the code is I'll make sure that when we start, when the green flag is clicked, he should have the starting phase. So over in the looks palette, we can grab switch costume to not furious, but starting face. So let me just clean up the blocks. There we go. Um, and while he's in the starting phase, he's going to be saying ow. When we get uh, over nine, so when we're at 10 through 19, um, we are going to make sure that we switch his face to a little annoyed. When we get to the next level, we're going to switch costume to more annoyed. And then finally, when we're over 30 or 30 or more, we are going to switch the costume to furious. So now if I click on the green flag, he looks fine. He says, poke me, I dare you. He's like really asking for it. So I clicked on him, he says, ow, he says, ow a few times. And as soon as we get to 10, he says, stop clicking me. So now his face has changed. Stop clicking me, stop clicking me, stop clicking me. You can even add sound effects if you want uh, to make it kind of funny. But now when we get to 20, now he says, okay, for real, stop it. <laughs> That's enough, stop it for real. So we keep clicking on him. <laughs> We're not doing what he's asking for. And we get to 30 and now he's going to be furious. And now he's really mad. So that is uh, how I would go about accomplishing what Noah asked for and adding the costumes and making a little bit, a little, making it my own. But you can add your own uh, faces if you want. You could upload your own sprites. You could add sound effects. You could add characters that move around or that appear or disappear at different times. But at, at the core of this, we are using variables. So we're keeping track of the count or the number of clicks um, with a variable. And we're also using conditionals. So we're using if else statements that will let us um, basically identify 
what the value is for the counter. And then, and then our code is based off of that. So hopefully that was helpful, Noah, or to anyone else that um, wanted to see how to do this. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.